Hi, today we are showing the Ahaland Scientech Vitus 2. Ahaland Scientech has been manufacturing quality automotive diagnostic equipment for over 20 years. The Vitus 2 is one of the latest models in their, in their range. The Vitus 2 can diagnose a huge range of systems on today's vehicles, for example, engine electronics, ABS, ESP, airbag, transmission control, immobilizer, aircon systems, suspension electronics service resets, electronic parking brake systems, TPMS systems and many more. As well as providing the normal diagnostic functions, the range can also compute a huge, complete a huge amount of special functions such as particulate filter regeneration, replacement and settings, common rail injector coding, common rail inlet meter and valve suction control valve learning, key coding, electronic parking, parking brake functions, service reset, steering angle calibration, TPMS sensor program and many more. The Vitus 2 gives you class leading coverage on Asian vehicles and also on Mercedes-Benz, Land Rover, BMW, Porsche and Volvo and superb coverage on most others. Uh, the main fe features and functions of the Vitus 2 is fault code read and clear, current data, actuation tests, system identification, adapting and coding, PC scanner software also allows you to operate the Vitus 2 via the PC allowing you to manage the car owner info and vehicle data on the PC and also allows you to print diagnostic results and perform flight recording. Uh, the Vitus 2 has its superior boot up speed and, and fast connection speed. Um, we will show this in, in later on in the video how fast it is to boot up and communicate with the vehicle. Also, may, on, on, on most, most makes it has module auto detection, so you don't have to search through model, engine code, year, etc. So in, it will, will automatically search out the system you're wanting to connect to. Um, it's a 7 inch LCD screen and over 50 brands listed in the software and uh, continuous updates via the internet. Um, the vehicle coverage then, like we said, a huge, huge range of coverage on Asian vehicles, all, all Asian vehicles listed, all European vehicles listed, but like we said, more in-depth coverage on BMW, Mercedes, Land Rover, Volvo, Porsche, etc. Also has USA vehicles listed in the software, like Buick, Chevrolet, Chrysler, Ford, GM, Jeep, Etc. Um, also then there is an option to add Asian trucks, um, for example you can add, with this software it will give, give you uh, Isuzu, Hino and Mitsubishi or Mitsubishi Fuso trucks and also Dyna trucks. Uh, there is two different ways you can, you can buy the Vitas 2, you can buy it with, with all these older type pre-16 pin connections or, or without. The kit with these connections includes two years updates, um, uh, said main base unit, carry case and you have the following adapters then the Mercedes 38 pin, Mercedes Sangyong 14 pin, BMW 20 pin, VAG 2x2 two by, two by two pin, Opel 10 pin, Toyota 17 pin, Toyota 23 pin, Nissan 14 pin, Honda 3 pin, Mitsubishi 12 pin, Mazda 17 pin, GM 12 pin, Kia Hyundai 20 pin and Porsche 19 pin. Obviously you get main cable, cigarette lighter power supply, USB update cable, serial to USB adapter, serial cable for PC connection, uh, a universal connection cable and then there's a quick start guide and a quick start uh, cable connection manual. So all these uh, PC connection cables and cigarette lighter adapters and, and some of the other cables are housed in here. So then also then you can buy the Vitas 2 without all these uh, optional pre-16 cables but includes all the same cigarette lighter adapter PC connection cable as, as we mentioned previously for the one. Now we're going to be showing the Vitas 2 connected to this E60 BMW 530 diesel. Um, yeah, we'll just connect it here now. And you can 
can see how fast boots up. Now it's booted up and ready to go. So we have our vehicle diagnostics, OBD2, DOL mode, printer manager and setup. So we go vehicle diagnostics. Normally we just have European, USA, Asian and Australian. We have some uh, test versions here. So we go into European, BMW. Then we have BMW Diagnostics, BMW Coding and Mini. Um, and we'll, we'll be going in here, but in the BMW Coding, this is basically for setting up uh, special functions like the car key functions, central lock and electric windows, different things like that. So we're going to Diagnostics. So we have to decide if it's the F series, the newer F series or E series, so it's E60. And we have the version number. all the different models um, down here then you have equipment function setup this is for doing um, calibrations or coding or various different special functions for example if, uh, if you're replacing the battery you go here steering angle calibration airflow sensor park and, park and brake well this is only be for the newer F series though it's more you can see And you can go in here for service reset, CBS service reset, and this is for the TPMS. And here to to synchronize the DME to the to the CAS or EWS. We go up to five series, E60. And as you can see, it's very very fast to, to respond. So we can do a short test, which on this particular car it's, it's, it's very quick at doing it. Or we can select by just going to control unit. For example, go to engine. It's connected already. So I read fog codes. Um, so just connect it. We connect the transmission in here as well when we're here. Again, it's in connected to that quick. Fog code, no faults. Uh, stream. various different options for this for reading the data stream activations read adaption value clear adaption value and um, chassis um, stability control Again, you see how fast it connects. Again, you have to select the, the sensors that are the, the readings you want to view. So steering angle sensor. Now um, we'll go into the body. Um, so again, huge, huge range of ECU is listed. So we'll go to the full module. Again, connect straight away. Read file codes, no codes. Data stream, we can view the data stream. We'll go to activation, central lock. So with this, the diagnostic tool is going to force the control unit to, to activate the locking. Thank 
swiper speed one. So as you can see, it's, it's very fast. Um, and has, has, has great coverage on this particular particular car and in most cases we don't have to give any details of the vehicle so we just pick E60 and we just come in to drive say for example hit engine you don't have to know the engine code ECU version whatever and just hit, hit enter and it will automatically find the, the particular system itself like we said this is in most cases um, some vehicles you do have to give the key in more details like year, engine code and maybe there can be a couple of different types of ECU so you may have to search through it but in 70% of the time you don't, the tool will automatically detect the system. So now we can also do a short test. So we have say short test where it will scan every control unit on the car so we can do all control units but overall ECUs are by group. You go all control units over all ECUs, switch ignition on, press enter. But as you can see, it's, it's very quick, very quick to get scan through them. So now in that length of time it's after connecting to every control unit on the car. Um, we can see the results here. And if we want if there is fault codes listed we can choose the AHO eraser which will clear clear the codes in all the systems. So now we can scroll down through the ones it connected to. All the ones with OK, there's no no file code stored. On to the next page. Uh, we must have a fault in the uh, the crash safety module. We need to check this later. Um, okay, well, okay. Fault in safety and gateway module. And we can go back and do the whole racer. Clear all fault codes. Please turn ignition off and wait five seconds. Turn ignition on. Now it's going to scan them again after it's clear to see, see what faults are, if any, are left. Yeah, I'm just going to and now we're okay with everything, all the, all the control units are coming up okay, no files listed. Um, so that's, that's about it for today and thanks for viewing and keep an eye on the YouTube channel where we'll have the Vitas 2 connected to various other vehicles.